basement. Yeah, I was on fire. I was on fire. My clothes were on fire. And Jaime Santana showed us the scars on his arms and back of his head. He still has a lot of muscle weakness and numbness across his body, but this Avondale dad is doing pretty well, considering he was struck by lightning two years ago while horseback riding out in Buckeye. My hands all the way to my arms, my legs, it's all numb. It's all numb, you know? If I try to walk right now, I can't feel my legs. Jaime was in a coma for a month, and his family wondered if he'd ever pull through. Paramedics say that the electricity went out through his hat. His brother Alex showed us the actual clothes Jaime was wearing when he got hit with a billion volts of electricity. You could still see the burn marks on Jaime's shirts and where the lightning shot through his hat. Every time I look at this, I think he's a total miracle. I mean, especially the hat. The hat is a, just blows me away, how somebody could have survived that. Uh, total miracle, he's blessed to be alive and we're happy he's here. When Jaime and his family heard about the two 13-year-olds struck by lightning in El Mirage Wednesday night, it brought back a lot of painful memories about what they went through. But they're also hoping it provides inspiration for the boys' families to see how well Jaime is doing. Very few people ever get hit, and those that do get hit, very few survive. So he is, uh, he's a blessed man. It wasn't my time to go, I guess, you know? I'm here for a reason. It wasn't my time to go, and it just wasn't my time. The Santanas told me they plan to reach out to the two boys struck by lightning Wednesday. They want them to know they're not alone, and they will get through this. In the West Valley, Jason Berry for Arizona's Family.